All right, this is YBR with some more Black Mesa slash Half-Life. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Let's hope I can still do them as good as I used to. So up here, we got a bunch of these guys that are going to attack us. There's a bunch in both games. But Black Mesa turned it up a bit. Luckily, there are explosives there that can take out most of them. If you don't use the explosives, there's, you know, maybe eight or so total. Uh, you can see their bodies just kind of scattered about now because I used the explosives to kill them. That guy's already dead. Don't worry, that wasn't me. Uh... Uh, anyways, Half-Life has some explosives there as well. Uh, one big difference you notice is Half-Life, you can pretty much see everything pretty easy here. It's pretty dark in Black Mesa. Like, it's... You gotta... You gotta look close. It's dark. Anyways. Over up here, we have some health. The health is in both games. I don't need it, actually. I'm fully maxed out. And then you got a little added window for details in Black Mesa. Half-Life didn't have that. Both games have a couple of headcrabs that'll waddle at you. Just take them out qu quite easy. Uh, one thing to note, these things will not explode no matter what you do. In Half-Life, there's an enemy standing right next to it, and you can blow those up, and it blows up the bridge. The bridge here has been reinforced, though, so the bridges do not blow up. There's another instance of this later on, which we will also see. And again, the bridge just doesn't blow up because they're reinforced in Black Mesa. So both games have this guy. Oh man, how did I miss that? Go ahead and take him out without too much trouble. And you got this guy in both games. Must fire the rocket engine. Destroy the damn thing before it gets any larger. <laughs> I love the way his arms just like lift up as he dies. Both games also have one of those guys trying to eat your face. You can ignore him though. And both games have this guy having a cool animation as you first see him. Yeah, so that's cool. Uh, this room's slightly redesigned, mostly for cinematic purposes, just so he has like that railing to crash and such. That was added just for that, pretty much, as far as I know. And you can look at him through the window in both games, seeing him crush shit and stuff. Go through here. And there's this guy. He's slightly different different position. Quiet. This thing hears us. Some scientists snuck down to the generator to get the rocket in the morning. We're not trying to make a break from the fuel rockets. You with us? Yep. Funnily enough, both games have kind of poor audio mixing on that guy's voice, it seems like. Uh, but in Half-Life, he's up here, up these, like, after the ladder. Small difference. Both games give you a crap ton of grenades. Black Mesa also gives you the uh, explosive satchels, which I do not believe Half-Life gives you. Uh, and then you got that guy across the way. He's a mirror of the guy in Half-Life who dies. He dies over there now, though. Because I don't know. But I'll use him to my advantage to make my way around this area. So to get his attention, I'll just get on the ladder, fire off a shot, and then I'll make my way down. So really, they want you to use the grenades to kind of make him like go away from you if he ever gets too close. I kind of do it a different strategy. Seems to work just to shoot gun when he gets too near you. Uh, both games you have the really, this is where you'd actually, I would use a grenade personally, is trying to get through here fast. And I did get clipped in the back that time. It's alright. Uh, Black Mesa decided to add a hole here. Uh, Half-Life, it, it wasn't there. On this level. And, um, so yeah. Uh, these doorways are pretty similar where they have the, it locks. That zombie's in slightly different position. Half-Life, he's on the this little walkway with which also has explosives which you can blow up again this will not blow up interestingly enough though it still has the the uh pipelines right here in half-life if you blow it up you have to walk across these pipelines um but they're still present like in a walkable area you know like you can still easily walk on them but you don't need to now so that's just a little interesting thing and this is about the end of the level just go and walk through there, and that's uh, that's the level. The hallway might be a little different. I actually didn't pay attention to that. Uh, but that'll do it for now. Until next time, this is YPR. I'll see you.